Right, so with the beautiful backdrop of the garage door, um, oops, I forgot to turn the camera around. There we go. Um, I thought I'd show you what um, 20S looks like. Um, go down so you can actually see me what 20s looks like when uh, laid out like this so YouTube following on from that last video um, I th that was taken a couple of weeks ago and since then I've made some progress around um, how I mount or how I'm going to put these batteries um, in a way that it, it's got a small uh, footprint and doesn't take up a heck of a lot of space now in that video I showed you all the batteries in 20s for five kilowatts stack all laid out on the ground now my initial thoughts was to put that up on the wall and to maybe have um, one row and then another row under that and then a, the, the final row. Um, each row being five kilowatt hours roughly. Now the, the problem with that is that each of those rows of 20 is about 1600 to 17, 1800 um, wide. So it takes up a heck of a lot of wall space and that fundamentally is the problem. Um, it's obviously quite wide and it's um, quite deep and the more cells you've got, kind of got the more wall space you need to take up and and initially what I was thinking about doing is putting that in the laundry next to my um, my grid time inverter the five kilowatt one on the wall and I could see straight away it was going to take up way too much um, wall space that I just don't have and that isn't really that functional so my backup plan was to put the power wall in the garage which is what I'm going to be doing now. Um, the next obviously key point was um, I needed a way to stack these batteries in a very similar sy system to how the HB power wall worked and I'll just quickly grab a pack where what he did was he um, he, connect, he has them pretty much flush on the wall where it kind of clicks into a nice little um, system where it clicks in at the bottom and clicks in at, top, at the top which means it's nice and easy to be able to remove them to be able to test them, to check the fuses visually to make sure everything's okay so in a long term solution I needed a simple way to, to have these cells mounted so that I could easily pull them in and out um, if I ever need to so and especially while creating the packs and other bits and pieces um, it needs to be kind of um, uh, removable without too much um, mucking around so especially when you get quite a few of these um, then there needs to be a simple way to do it so what I thought about um, over a, a good couple of weeks was what's the best way to mount um, potentially um, 15 kilowatts of these um, how do I mount 20 um, S in a way that um, they all connect and can be unplugged quite easily and how do I connect um, three banks of, um, of 20 cells um, yes as I said we can have them long ways with uh, one underneath and one underneath that um, but that takes up so much space so what I, was, I thought about was um, the first thing that kind of came to mind was something like a wine rack where the wine rack is kind of normally um, quite um, vertical and it is in a way that the wine bottles just kind of slide in and out and so I thought well that kind of concept works quite well so I spent quite a bit of time with my um, girlfriend's dad um, in his garage building um, some kind of uh, uh, a box that kind of came to shape throughout the day and we had a good plan we had a bit of a plan at the start and there was a bit of confusion around how many of these cells that um, I actually wanted in there, or these packs that I actually wanted in there um, he was thinking that 20 was all I needed but I actually need 60 so that made the unit a bit bigger and, and we had some fun throughout the day um, so what I'll just quickly do to show you initially is how the packs look um, and the different sizes that I've got right so looking at these on the floor um, this is our pack of 32 which is this one here um, so this is going to be our uh, 2 amp hours and above pack uh, as pointed out in the spreadsheet um, obviously this pack's a bit smaller then to get the same um, 5 kilowatt hours we obviously need to add more cells so the second pack of using 1800s and above this pack here is is about 4 cells longer um, and the, uh, in the, the final pack just using the the um, the 1500s to 1700s and something um, we are, I, what I did was I added six more cells um, difference to this one here so that um, 
this one here actually has a larger capacity than this one and this one but because these cells are much much older then um, at least it'll help these survive a little bit longer. Each of these is only is drawing less than um, in less than 10 amps so we're not going well, I don't need to have um, big thick cables I don't need to have uh, anything too extreme um, even if we just had one pack plugged in, it's only going to draw 27 amps off this, which is less than one amp hour per cell. Um, obviously, once we have two of them, um, or two banks connected up, so 10 kilowatt hours, the, um, each of these is going to draw only about 15 amps off it. Um, so everything can be nice and, um, the wires can be nice and um, small. We don't need any big bus bars. We don't need any overcomplication because um, these can be um, very similar to much smaller packs, um, but obviously put out a heck of a lot of power. So those are the three sizes that I've had to work with. Um, and the reason I've done them too wide is um, is mainly, rather than kind of bunching them up, is mainly to make them easily to slide in and out of something, as well as um, if there's ever a problem with um, a cell, it's not too difficult to just pull apart and then put another one back in place. So by keeping it smaller, um, and kind of slimmer, I can achieve quite a few things um, with that, as well as the fact that um, I only need to solder up one um, middle, um, say, bus bar cable, um, and um, it keeps it nice and simple. So that's kind of how the packs look uh, lengthwise, um, and that's kind of the difference between them. And as I get more of the 2000 milliamp hour ones, then I'll pull the larger one of this out, and then I'll replace it with one of these um, until I have um, you know all 15 kilowatts worth of um, much better cells.